Hello viewers, we are going to look at some of the characteristics which makes Escherichia coli, E. coli, a bacterium, a very good model organism. There are few characteristics that one needs to keep in mind before one chooses a model organism. That is, it should be easy to grow, easy to cultivate, short replication time, clone should be easily available, lot of genetic information about it should be known. So all this makes life of a researcher much easier if these features are present in a particular model organism. So when it comes to Escherichia coli, as we all know, it can be grown on a very simple and a defined medium. Something as simple as like nutrient agar or a defined medium like an M9 medium. Along with that, being not a highly pathogenic strain, it can be handled with simple microbiological technique. Doesn't require uh, high grade biosafety cabinets when one is experimenting with Escherichia coli. It can grow both on a nutrient liquid medium as well as on solid agar, so isolation can be easily done. There are several colonies can be that can be obtained over a period of 24 hours and each colony consists of a clone of cells. So multiple clone of cells can be obtained in a very short span of 18 to 24 hours. Plus cells can be titrated by spread plate technique, a viable count technique which can be easily done. Apart from these enlisted features, I would like to add a few more such as if we talk about 2023, Escherichia coli genome has already been sequenced. So a lot of genetic information is already been available for Escherichia coli. So all these are the features uh, and above that a short generation time. So these features makes E. coli a very good model organism. Thank you for patient listening.